Welcome to Bioshock. This is Eki. I'm playing through currently. Uh, I've killed both the little sisters on this map already. Um, currently kind of stuck. Uh, I have no active goal and no quests, um, roles or anything. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Uh, I've been looking kind of a little bit around the map here and I want to think that maybe I'm supposed to go back to the emergency access hopefully um, and but if that doesn't work maybe I'll try this little tiny little gray area here that I haven't um, explored yet uh, but we'll find out um, so come along for a little ride here while I try to figure out what to do next uh, and hopefully we'll somebody's yelling at me I'm supposed to go up there somehow. I don't think I can. Uh, so yeah, I've been uh, playing for, I don't know, a couple hours so far. Took a little break, uh, got some fried chicken and some beer, uh, and ate that. And then uh, I've been mostly playing Bioshock tonight to... Uh, do a little research on splicers because I'm going to be one for Halloween. Uh, and so I've been kind of watching them and laughing a little bit about how they act. Uh, which is generally speaking totally crazy. Uh, so I've been learning a little bit about Rapture here. Uh, I got, um, got here by crash landing into the ocean and uh, going into this kind of weird tower. Um, that was just in the middle of the ocean for whatever reason, and, uh, got onto this little submarine Sorry. gondola thing. Oh! Well, and that splicer's gonna try and kill me, so I'm gonna throw a block at her. And that's surprisingly effective. Uh, I'm gonna just keep doing that, because it barely takes any eve, and one-shot kill, uh, which will let me save up on some ammo. But that's kind of the point, is I always get sidetracked, like I don't need to kill those splicers, so I can just, hopefully I can just get out of here. Um, let's keep going towards emergency ac exit access here. And hopefully that will be how I get out of this level, but we'll find out. crate here, and we're going to head over to Neptune's Bounty. Um, so for my two first little sisters, I harvested both of them because I wanted the Atom uh, early on to buy more skills and stuff, uh, but I kind of realized that I probably could have saved the second one because I didn't really end up using that extra Atom there. Um, up front, so I could have saved it for later. But, uh, now that I know that, I might save the next one, um, unless I find another machine, uh, in which case I'll, I'll see what they got. And get as much Adam as I need. The pleasure of Andrew Ryan's company. He's the one who That's built this disgusting. Place, and he's the one who ran it into the ground. Nobody knows uh, exactly that guy's what been kind of... Maybe the power got to him. Maybe just stuck up there. Which is, looks really uncomfortable. Whichever way you slice it, good man died. Be families in a oh, submarine hidden in the um, So Atlas is gonna spout a bunch of lies at us, and we're gonna ignore him because he's worthless and a jerk. Uh, and while he's talking, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna get rid of Enrage. Um, because electricity is so much more important. And the telekinesis is, is more useful. Uh, it's more directly useful than the enrage. Um, so there's another reason I could have saved the little sister. I didn't really need the enrage because uh, I wasn't using it that much. Um, so effectively, the first two little sisters I harvested, I probably could have gotten away with saving them. Um, I didn't really need the atom. So that was my bad. 
but we're gonna keep going anyways because uh, that's that's how you should play video games. Just take your take your um, consequences, you know. Don't reload the saves and try to do it again and again, better and better, because uh, it's easy to kind of get stuck in that routine. Uh, obviously, if you're going for some kind of achievement or something, that's kind of what you need to do. But uh, sometimes I like just playing for fun. So let's see if we can kill this other splicer here without her noticing me. Got another big daddy here. I could probably just take him out real quick. Um, but before I do, I'm definitely going to save. And I'm just going to unload Electric Buck right on him. And it's going to kind of just kill him, I bet. Whoa! Oh, that... Okay, so that was a little bit different of a big daddy there. He seemed to have some kind of like... Um, some kind of gun instead of a drill. Uh, but I did get a couple good shots off of him. I'm gonna use up all the all of the electric buck I got and just kill him real quick. At this point, I'm pretty used to dying. Uh, the first big daddy I killed, I used all of my ammo and had to finish him off with a wrench, essentially. Uh, which is not uh, very good. You die a lot of times doing something like that. I feel like this bag, Big Daddy, is kind of a stronger version than the other one, too. Uh, and I'm doing a bad job by kind of fighting him on his turf. So he's got that turret back there, too. Which I should probably hack or something first before killing this guy. I am kind of, kind of overcommitted there, a little bit, uh, but luckily enough these two splicers have seemed to start with fire on him, so I'm going to let them fight it out a little bit, um, to save my own ammo. <laughs> so the splicers are just yelling and shooting at the big daddy, and the big daddy is trying to take all three of us on at once. Which you could probably do. Uh, also, that turret still can Perfect. Thanks, gents. Uh, so, even... Oh. I've, I've used a lot of health kits just then. Uh, but it, it's usually kind of expected that if you're going to fight a big daddy, you're going to use a lot of resources and stuff. Um, I did not make a good decision uh, to, to keep that turret alive. I gotta get to a safer area here. I'm not I'm feeling very exposed. Um, and, uh, so get that guy, and I'm hopefully get into kind of a little corner here so I can collect myself. Um, also, haven't really been using my plasmids very effectively either. So that thing is really annoying me. Okay, I'm gonna hack this turret. I don't even care about the other splice behind me. I mean, I, I really should have hacked this turret a lot earlier. Uh, it could have helped a lot with the big daddy fight. Um, and those two other splicers I had to take care of. This is going alright, so we'll just uh, keep going. Cool. So now I got a turret on my side, um, which will hopefully kill that other splicer for me while I go loot this little shiny thing over here. This looks like some ammo. Um, so this time I'm going to save the little sister because. I uh, harvested the first two and I didn't really even need the atom. Um, I ended up spending it on a skill I didn't need. Uh, so, is that another turret? There's another turret over here. Uh, the two turrets are fighting each other. And I want them to be friends because I want them both on my side. So, hack 
this real quick. to first aid kit and pistol some money some more money more money more problems uh, medical expert I get a little bit more from health uh, first aid kits Sounds pretty cool. I'm sorry father I'll do what you say I'll do what you say what's there so that splicer just said, I'm sorry, Father, I'll do what you say, I, I'll do what you say. Um, while he was kind of crying and stuff. So, clearly, this is the mirror half uh, turn. Poor guy, you know? But, let's see if we can kill this splicer again. Uh, got my two turrets down there, kind of helping me out a little bit. But, not much. Oh, well, that guy was kind of distracted by him, so it worked out pretty good. I know what you're up to. You do, huh? So that splicer claims to know what I'm up to. Um, so can you, can you tell me? Because I'm not really sure uh, what I'm up to. So if you can tell me, that'd be great. So I'm going to harvest or uh, no. rescue her this time. No. Save, save her life here. Thank you. So she said thank you, and um, she's gonna run off. Let's go see where she goes. Um, she probably put some shoes on. Uh, it's, oh, ow! Oh, that was uh, probably a bad idea to walk into a proximity mine there. Anyways, you should put some shoes on there. Uh, oh, I'm ready for dream time, Mr. Bubbles. Okay. We'll just let that one go. Um, and, uh... Hopefully she'll be okay. All this stuff... And looks like I can change some plasmids. I don't need to. I got my electricity. Um, I've been really um, needing this a lot, so uh, I took it over the fire one. Um, because it was just too much use for it for the turrets and stuff. Especially that one. Fucking rocket launcher turret. <laughs> To hack you and make you my turn. Uh, let's chuck this guy up here. Make him corner around there. Some of these turrets are a little bit harder. They've got these like bombs and uh, like alarms there. So if you set those off, then it'll spawn a bunch of those drone bot thingies, which is uh, no bueno. Um, I am getting slightly annoyed at hacking all the time. I kind of uh, would like to have a break from needing to hack every other like, five seconds, but... So, hell yeah, I, get, I mean, sometimes you, like, hack something that's useful. I got... Whoops. I got distracted there, so, uh, somebody shot me while I was on the ground. I think I've lost count on the number of times I've died here, so, uh, um, at this point I don't really care that I die. Uh, there's not really much of a penalty for it. But, uh, I'm gonna cut it here, um, and let's take a look at the map real quick. Looks like I've got a goal, uh, right here. Um, so when we get back, I'm gonna kinda go back out through here, get some revenge on the guy that killed me. 
and uh, continue on to the next goal here. So uh, this is uh, Bioshock. I'm Eki. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video.